are you facing the frustrating error message that says, cannot read property RNFS file type regular of undefined? You're not alone. Today, we're going to tackle this issue together and get your React Native app back on track. I completely understand how annoying it can be when you're trying to run your app and it just won't cooperate. This is a common issue that many developers encounter, especially when working with libraries like React Native FS. Here's the specific situation we're looking at. A user reported that while using the React Native FS library, they encountered the error message about RNFS file type regular. Interestingly, the same code works perfectly on another laptop. Let's dive into this and find out what's going wrong. So what could be causing this error? It often relates to issues with the node modules or the way the library is linked in your project. We'll explore these possibilities step by step. And stick around. I have a crucial tip at the end that could save you a lot of time and headaches when working with React Native. To begin resolving this issue, the user should first ensure that the React Native file system library is properly linked to their project. This can be done by running a specific command in the terminal. Next, the user should check if the library is correctly installed in the node modules directory. They can do this by navigating to the Node Modules folder and confirming the presence of the React Native FS directory. If the library is present, the user should then clear the cache and reinstall the Node Modules. This can help resolve any inconsistencies that might be causing the error. After reinstalling, the user should restart the Metro Bundler. This ensures that all changes are recognized and the application is running with the latest configurations. Finally, the user should run their application again to see if the error persists. If the issue is resolved, they should be able to access the functionality without any problems. Fun fact, did you know that React Native was developed by Facebook and is used in many popular apps like Instagram and Airbnb? You're in good company. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution from another user suggests linking the React Native FS library. They recommend running the command React Native Link React Native FS to resolve the issue. Now, let's dive into a different answer from another user. An alternative solution from another user suggests using manual linking instead of automatic linking. After that, clear the cache with the command React Native Start Reset Cache. Finally, rerun your app using React Native Run Android or React Native Run iOS. This should resolve the issue. Let's take a look at an answer from another user. An alternative solution from another user suggests using Xcode to run your project. They found that this approach fixed the issue on iOS. Here's the tip I promised. Always keep your libraries updated. Regular updates can prevent many issues and keep your app running smoothly. And there you have it. By following these steps, you should be able to resolve the error and get your app running again. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more troubleshooting tips and tricks.